At a certain school, the ratio of the number of second graders to the number of fourth graders is 8 to 5, and the ratio of the number of first graders to the number of second graders is 3 to 4. If the ratio of the number of third graders to the number of fourth graders is 3 to 2, what is the ratio of the number of first graders to the number of third graders? I don't know what would make your head spin more, this question, or being in the classroom with all these kids. But let's slow this down and take a, a look at this. So first of all, I'm going to write those proportions as fractions, as I've written here. Now notice, if I look at just these first two, I have second graders in the numerator here and second graders in the denominator here. And I'm not really interested in having second graders as part of the answer, so I'm just going to multiply these two. So second over fourth times first over second. That equals 8 over 5 times 3 over 4. Second cancels. This will be my ratio of first to fourth. And this equals, I'll cancel a factor of four before I multiply here, this equals six over five, the ratio of first graders to fourth graders. Well, now I have this other ratio of third graders to fourth graders, and I'm going to do something curious. I'm going to flip this over. The ratio of fourth graders to third graders is 2 over 3. I'm doing this, first of all, because I notice I have fourth graders on the top here and on the bottom here, and I'm thinking if I multiply those fractions, they'll cancel. And also, what I want is first graders in the numerator and third graders in the denominator. That's what the answer is actually asking for. So I'm now going to multiply these first over fourth times fourth over third. And this is 6 over 5 times 2 over 3. Now the fourth graders cancel. What we're left with on the left side is the ratio they've asked for, the first graders over the third graders. And again, I'm going to cancel before I multiply. 2 times 2 is 4 over 5. The ratio of first graders to third graders is 4 to 5. And this is answer choice E.